Hello, I'm Claudia Orengo from Hardmate.ds and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create a scroll animation like this one with Canva. If you are a Photoshop user, I have another video for you where you can check um, the alternative on how to create a scroll animation in Photoshop. But today in this video I'm going to show you only how to do it in Canva. Okay, so we are here in Canva, this is the end result, but we are going to go step by step and show you how you can create an animation like this. The first thing you want to do is create a new file and you can do it in the size you need the image to be. This could be a perfectly Instagram Reels post, um, but feel free to do it in a landscape mode or a portrait if you need to. So let me delete all of this and show you how I've created this. The first thing you want to do is find the background image, a computer image that it's the most straight that you can, so that there is no perspective on the screen and this will help a lot the end result. So let's go to elements. I really love um, everything that Jana Bishop creates. Um, I can show you her name here. Jana Bishop from, uh, she was formerly called Twiggy Post. See, she's honestly one of the reasons I'm using Canva because she has uploaded here lots of images of hers and I really love her style. So um, every time I search for a pretty image, I usually start searching for her brand. It's quite confusing how to find it. So I'm going to copy and paste this for you on the description if you want to um, search for her. And I'll also leave you my affiliate link for Canva in case you are not a user yet and you want to join. Okay, so um, I'm assuming you already have Canva or you know how to use it. Basically, we are now in Elements. We are searching for what we want. I search for the brand, but you can search for computer and it will loads lots of images. But as you can see, the style is quite more of stock um, business, you know, like even old styled. So I really like her style and I tend to use her. Let's use this image, which is the one you were seeing at the preview. So once we click it, it brings here on Canva. You can scale it so that it fits at least um, the size you have decided. I don't like the, the table frame, so I'm going to scale it a little bit more. And now we have it here. OK, so now we have the background image. Now we need to bring here the actual design that we want to show. And in the other video, in the Photoshop video, I showed you how to do it from a still screenshot. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it from a GIF or a video that you already recorded. You can use both in Photoshop, but here I've only found um, this solution, how to create it starting already from a video or a GIF. So in order to record this scroll GIF, I'm using an app that I installed in my computer and it's called GIF Fox. I'm using the free version. I'm also going to link in the description um, the website of this app so you can download it and install it too. It's very basic, but it solves everything I need. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I open the website that I want to screenshot, which is one of my sales pages on my own website and I'm separating it from the canvas so that we only see this screen. It's more, you know, professional and empty. If it doesn't fit your screen, double click on the top bar and it will perfectly fit the size. OK, so now that I have it open, I'm going to come to GIFOX and we have a few options. Usually I use either this one, which means start selecting the area you want to record or this one that will record the full screen. Um, in this one, I'm going to be using the full window since it's Google Chrome. It's going to be much easier. And now when I click, it will record a short video for me that will automatically be turned into a GIF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be scrolling down an app so that it records these steps. It's probable that the first time you do it, you, you know, um, go too fast or go too slow and it breaks in the middle, just get used to the app. Um, they always take the same 
amount of time to record so try it a little bit until you understand um, what's the speed you need to go to but let's do it now so i'm gonna click and now it's recording so i'm scrolling down and once i arrive down i go up and now it will stop recording and i can go here and it's loading once it's loaded it will show me what is it so let's wait a few seconds There we go and now we have the options so if i click here i'll directly go to the folder what it has been saved and we can preview it we can see how it recorded going down and then going back up and then it will start over going down you see so we have now a infinite loop just recorded from our screen okay so let's go back to Canva and bring this into our Canva. So simply drag it and drop it. I already have here a previous version, some other websites I've been using. You can do it in vertical too. Um, and you can even use video. So in this case, I'm showing you how to create a GIF directly from your computer. But if you have been recording, let's say your iPad screen, you can definitely do the same from a video. Now that we have this, I'm gonna click and it will load in my um, Canva. And you can see how it's already showing the video. So all we need to do now is to scale it to the size of the screen and that's why we want the image to be with minimum perspective this is not perfect 100 percent perfect because it has a little bit of perspective here but it's gonna serve the purpose of the tutorial so now we have the finished result all we need to do is go to download and you can choose if you want a video or if you want a gif and that's all. I hope you find this useful. Remember, there is another tutorial on how to do it in Photoshop with a screenshot. So it's a plain image in that case. And you will find all the links down in the description. If you like this video, please give it a like. Share with me your feedback on the comments. I really love hearing from you and chatting with you. So please do it. It also helps a lot for other people to find my videos. And if you want to stay in touch with me, the best way is to subscribe to my email list because I send emails with, you know, new tutorials, but also trainings, offers that I do and yeah, tips. So it's where I'm most active. I don't post regularly on social media right now, but I'm very active on email and I would love to have you on board. You will find all the links down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.